Today on TQA Weekly, I answered a question, why is processor nanometer size important? My name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions, and or PC horror stories, you can always email me at ask at tqaweekly.com, go to my website tqaweekly.com, and comment on each specific episode, and of course, contact me via my contact page, and of course, if you're watching on Vimeo, Blip.tv, YouTube, or anywhere else I post to every single week, you can always comment down below. So why is processor 90 meter size important? Well, when I was a kid, processors had a basically a die size of one micrometer. Technology is an ever advancing science that gets cheaper and smaller with time. From the time as a kid with all the processing power that I didn't have, as a kid all combined, barely capable of reaching even the speeds of my cell phone. So as time progresses, most of our gadgets actually get smaller and more powerful with time. So how is it possible that today's processors are faster than previous electronics? Well, it has much to do with the die size itself. By shortening the amount of different connections inside of the processor, by making them smaller, you can fit more cores, which could actually achieve many different independent tasks simultaneously, allowing you to have more real-time data executions, which allows for faster performance, faster clock rates, and of course, better voltage or power management from these processors allowing you to actually get a better experience. So does the die size itself though actually affect the clock speed and performance? Not really in any direct way. So first of all with the fact that we really have a hard time passing 5 gigahertz anyway with any of the processors and more specifically AMD is more capable of doing that the clock rate really doesn't have anything to do with anything. The amount of data executions per cycle is actually more important than the clock rate of your given processor. You can have a 3.1 gigahertz processor achieve more data executions than the 3.8. So for those looking for clock speed contests, you really have to match your processors and be on an equal playing field because you can still get a faster computer with a lower clock rate. So what ends up happening is when you're overclocking, you're shortening the cycle length, which allows you to do more actual data executions faster because the cycle is shorter, which means that in a given amount of time, you have more cycles, which means you have more data being executed. That basically means that the only thing you've changed is how long the cycle actually is achieved in. So. That basically gives it up for, does the size size affect clock speed and performance? Eh, not really. I mean, besides the fact that you don't have to apply as much voltage as you have to, had to in the first place to actually achieve the same kind of task. So what does that mean for you? Well, because the processor nanometer size actually affects the number of cores that we can have in a processor, having a smaller die size means we can fit more processors processor cores inside the processor, meaning that we can do more individual data executions in a given cycle, allowing us to actually have more real-time experience while we're gaming, doing high-end tasks, even going on Facebook if you go there at all. And because of all this, we actually get a better experience out of our computer without necessarily having to extremely overclock our processors in the first place. So the smaller the die size, the more processors that we can fit, the more data executions, the less we have to overclock. That's basically what today's episode is all about. Why is processor nanometer size important? Because of all that. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. And if you know anybody can benefit from this, make sure you share this. Thank you and goodbye.